previous problem we solved the uh, mean by using direct method so now we are going to solve the so mean by using another method why are going for another method i will tell you now so here one problem is there consider the following uh, distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory find the mean daily wages of the workers of a factory by using appropriate method so we have to choose your own method so how to choose that so i will consider daily wages as class intervals 500 to 520 522 to 540 540 to 560 like that and uh, the number of workers is the frequency i return 12 14 8 6 and 10 are the frequencies so now we have to find the middle term so you know that how to find the middle term adding lower limit and upper limit see if you add these two lower limit is 500 so plus upper limit is 520 and this divided by 2 will get a 1020 if you add these two divided by 2 will get to 510 so 510 is the midpoint of this class interval so like that we can find remain so no need to divide adding and divide uh, again and again so only you know the size of this class interval see 520 minus 500 is uh, subtract will get 20 20 is the size of the class interval the same 20 is added to this we will get the presiding uh, midpoint of this so 510 plus 20 will get 530 530 plus 20 will get 550 550 plus 20 will get 570 570 plus 20 will get 590 okay so now see fi and xi are the bigger numbers see 510 530 so in that time we are going for another method that is so we are we are having two methods remaining one is assumed mean method and another one is step deviation method now we can go to find the d which method is suitable after finding the d we come to know so d is equal to xi minus a so a is the assumed mean i will consider any one midpoint of this uh, midpoints in that midpoints we will consider mid one okay? that means so mid one of this so i will consider a is equal to 550 this is the assumed mean so subtract this x is 510 so we subtract uh, 510 minus 550 we will get minus 40 like that you subtract 530 minus 5 550 we will get minus 20 and 550 minus 550 is 0 and 570 minus 550 570 minus 550 so we will get plus 20 and here we will get 40 Okay. See here 40, 20, 0, minus 20 and 40. D is having a common factor. These all numbers are divisible by 20. Therefore D as a common factor that is H is equal to 20. 20 is the common factor. It is denoted by a symbol H. It is a common factor in D. So now common factor is there in D. Therefore we are going for step deviation method. So in that we have to find ui ui is di by h di is minus 40 minus 20 like that h is 20 we divide this minus 40 minus 20 by 20 so minus 40 divided by 20 you will get minus 2 similarly minus 20 by plus 20 will get minus 1 and this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 ok next we can find 
U I and F I product of F I and U I F I and U I multiply F I and U I uh, 12 2 za minus 24 uh, 14 1 za minus 1 za minus 14 and 18 to 0 0 6 1 za 6 10 2 za 20 so now you have to add all these things you have to find sigma fi ui so is equal to if you add these two you will get see minus terms are there or minus terms separately so you will get uh, 38 minus 38 so add these two you will get to uh, plus 26 so subtract these two you will get to uh, minus 12 minus 12 is the sigma fi and ui and also find the frequency sum of the frequencies that is sigma fi so 6 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 is uh, uh, 20 0 then uh, 2 plus 1 3 4 5 that is 50 sigma fi is 50 so now we can use the formula to find the mean by using step deviation method the formula is like this mean x bar is equal to a plus assume I mean a plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into h so here a is i considered a assume I mean 550 plus sigma fi ui is minus 12 divided by sigma fi is 50 into common factor in it is 20 so now 550 this we can 0 0 get cancel minus into plus is minus so remaining is so 12 divided by 5 into 2 multiply these two we will get 550 minus 12 to the 24 divided by 5 so divide these two 24 uh, divided by 5 5 for the 20 will get uh, 4 I put a point and becomes 40 5 8 the 40 okay then 550 minus this is 4.8 now subtract 550 minus 4.8 so 550.0 this is 4.8 so 0 you will take carry 10 minus 8 is 2 and to carry remaining is 9 9 minus 4 is 5 and here 4 and here 5 that is 545.2 this is the mean so mean daily wages of mean daily wages of the workers workers of the factory is 545.2 like that you can find the mean by using step deviation method in annual examination we will get uh, two questions from uh, statistics for three marks one is from mean or median or mod so this is also expected the three marks problem in statistics. Okay, thank you.